Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and greetings, Alishan Mao here. Welcome back to more RC video reviews. Today in this video, I have got the new Ishin Twig 115 Toothpick FPV Racing Quadcopter HD version. Let's bring the camera closer to this little quadcopter, talk about its features. After that, it's ready, batteries are charged, and we'll bring it out for a spin. All right, this is your Ishin Twig 115. It's available in two versions, an HD version with Cadex Baby Turtle camera, which I have got right here. So this is the Ishin Twig 115 HD version. There's another non-HD version with Runcam Nano 2 camera. Uh, with HD versions, of course, you can insert a TF card and record HD videos of your FPV flights to share online and on social media. I personally like the HD version because you know having to have an HD ver having to have an HD video of your FPV flight is much better to share compared to you know the dreaded SD or standard definition DVR videos. Now Ishin Twig is a toothpick FPV racing quadcopter. It's a spinning 5,200 kV motors. It has a Crazy BF4 V3 flight controller installed inside right there. In the tower also you have 10M D-Shot 600 speed controller 4-in-1. ESC uh, D Shot 600 10 amp ESC 3 to 4 S LiPo capable flight controller is also 3 to 4 S LiPo capable motors. However, I'm not sure are if uh, if they are 4 S capable or not. Ishin suggests 2 to 3 S LiPo batteries only. The built-in video transmitter is capable of doing 25 milliwatt to 200 milliwatt power, and it is compatible to smart audio, so you can change the channels and bands using the OSD only. Quadcopter spins uh, three inch gem fan propellers. These are kind of wider propellers I can see. Pretty wide transparent type propellers and they should be providing very nice thrust and flight power using 5200 kV motors. As you can see there's a little antenna in the front that means the quadcopter actually has a built-in FreeSky D8 receiver which you can use with your FreeSky Tyrannus X9D or FreeSky radios but if you're talking about uh, FreeSky 2019 X9D versions uh, they don't support D8 anymore and that was my problem as well because I couldn't bind the quadcopter to my radio so I had to go ahead and install an external receiver right at the back side here which makes it a little ugly but hey it does the job external receiver also provides better range compared to built-in d8 receiver right there so setup was a breeze uh, i have set my pids on everything uh, flight modes ishin twig 115 hd version is ready to fly batteries are fully charged let's go out and see how it performs so i'm out with the ishin twig 115 my Fetch Shark Scout, the new FPV video goals, and <coughs> my Tyrannus X9D Plus SE Special Edition 2019 version. Let's fly the Twig 115 and see how it goes. Previously, I had a flight by the stadium side and it was doing very well. Here we go. Man, it moves. Look at the. Look at the altitude it's getting. Ooh. Whoa, look at that getting altitude, man. This baby is fast. Sweet. It's nice and fast. It has got some very, very nice punch, man. Let's just scale this tower, shall we? I hear a kind of rattling, man. What was that? I'm sure it's the propellers basically are not hitting anything. But I'm hearing rattling sounds. Ooh, boy. Sweet dive. Yeah, there's a kind of rattling. 
There's kind of rattling, man. I don't know what is this. I have no idea what was that. Where am I? Where am I? I lost... <laughs> I lost the direction senses. Trees. Watch for the trees. Watch for the people. Run some slalom. My favorite slalom. Between these and that. Woo! Yeah, at full throttle, something is rattling there, man. Something is seriously rattling there. I always want to play with this, but having trouble getting to the altitude I wanted. Ooh, this thing really seriously picks some serious altitude very, very quickly. I cut lots of grasses. <laughs> grasses or grass? Man, come on, that is a plural. What happened to my English? Woo, boy, that was nice. But then, after one crash, it just started giving me a lot of, lot of jello. <laughs> And as I mentioned in that video, there was a kind of rattling noise on when going full throttle. So, seems something to do with the propellers. Anyway, I have changed the propellers, and what I found, why it was giving me jello, that the screws, the nuts, sorry, that the nuts here on the canopy, which are holding the camera, were just gone because of the vibration, probably. And that is why the camera started moving and giving me, you know, jello. So. Anyway, let's fly today and see how it goes. New propellers. I've added the uh, Loctite on the nuts. I hope they won't go off. And uh, I hope we won't record jello. So here we go. Alright? Welcome back, Ali Shan now. Fly in like you stole it. Have fun. Yeah, baby. Switch warning. Fly it like you stole it, sir. Once again, I'm going to fly it like I stole it. So here we go. I hope I don't crash it. And it looks like they're slight jello still. But I'm just gonna take it easy. And fly it easy. Uh oh, making a circle around me is gonna be an issue. It's too close on the wall behind me. So all I can do is make this little circle. Look at the power map. This thing has some really nice power. But I can tell you the jello. It has lots of power, as I mentioned, but the jello is killing. I believe the jello is because we all know that the jello is because of uh, uh, the power man. The jello is because of the propellers not being very good and definitely imbalanced propellers. I'm just having fun flying around at low speeds because at high speeds I'm having jello of course you can see it has plenty of hang time but it's slightly heavier so right after the hang time it just wants to drop to the ground really fast
power loop into the tree. <laughs> Man, my power loops are not very good. I always, I always get into the trees. I mean, I cannot clear them, but I'll try. Let's do it again. Up. Yes, I did it. I cleared the tray. I was the ugliest power movement. Oops, oh, we are hitting and cutting the tree. Whoo, I hit the ground. That was concrete road. It is offering, which I like, about twig. 115 that it has plenty of flight time it's very efficient and uh, it has a very nice punch it is powerful it has a lot of hang time though at the heavy side But the punch, the power, the speed, the hang time, and efficiency on the battery, that is what counts, man. With a 450 milliamp battery, you see I'm still ripping speeds, and uh, I still have 10.6 battery left for all this freestyling. Sweet. It definitely is sweet quadcopter man. Ten point five volts left. Very nice quad for ripping some sweet FPV. Something is biting me. I gotta land. I have 10.5 volts left. Okay, the battery's back to 10.6. Just gonna fly it nice and slow without crashing it. We got a spectator. Boy, love that climb rate. All right, time to land. Time to land. I'm just gonna drop it like a turd. Just like that. Now, my only issue is if the quad has recorded jello filled video again or not apart from the jello filled video which is uh, really annoying and basically if you are going to buy Ishin Twig 115 HD version this is an HD version with Cadex baby turtle camera you actually want a jello free nice smooth HD video of your FPV freestyle flight but if you are not able to record that that is annoying so but at the good side, at the good side, it has plenty of power, plenty of punch, plenty of speed, and obviously, and of course, plenty of flight time. It's very efficient as well. So the propulsion system is very efficient. However, I'm really unhappy with the propellers because the propellers are the thing that are causing all the jello and uh, going full throttle. They're kind of rattling at high RPM. So I believe what I need to do is to make the Ishin Twig 115, nice, perfect HD toothpick. First off, change the propellers, something nice and high quality. Do something about uh, damping here, the vibration damping on the camera, and then it will be one of the best HD toothpick quadcopters for you to record your HD high definition flight videos and FPV freestyling videos. 
Enough said, I still have two more batteries, so I'm just gonna, you know, ride my electric horse and go around, find another place, give it another flight, just to, you know, have fun with. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button right there. Come on, don't be shy, just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.